Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. I got you, basic lab. Use a basic research or research that do not fit in other categories. Uh, well, I'll put you down there like that. So why have I... What's the tech archive do? What? Used for key technology research. Key technology research. So what's the, the key technology research? That one there, basic data core, grey science. Ooh, wait a minute, what are you? Grey Science Analyzer. Basic Data Core Grey Science Analyzer. No, it's just the... the, the, the hmm. Tech Archive. Used for Key Technology Research. So what do you class as Key Technology Research? And we got those bits there. I'm a little bit confused now because it appears that I can put both of them into this one. I put that one in there. And I can put that one in there as well. And that filters right through and it does both of them. So why? What happens if I put one in? I put that one in there. Modules, add speed, things like that. Yeah, well, we get that. I'm genuinely confused by this. I, I need to wait for those to be made. That's all right, because I, I know that I need to make 16 of these, so we'll just allow those to make, and I'll let them run through as well. I do like how quickly these are being made. They are very, very quick and efficient to make all of those bits in there. Okay, I've got them there. If I put that one in, nope, it's not allowing me to do anything. So I, I, I have no clue what this is. What do we do with the tech archive? Key science research. Hmm. Right, that has left me feeling more than a little bit confused but i'll drop that into there like that and then we'll go to here this one isn't doing anything at the moment that's basic automation in there so this one is it, it's literally it's not doing anything quite why it's not doing anything i have no clue don't know why it's doing that this one is now burning fuel and it's actually working that one over there is working as well I will go over this way and scoop up a load more coal in there. I will go up this way and we will drop. See, if I take coal like that and then drop those on there and then dump those in there like that. It's loaded everything up right in there. Take them and I will take the crushed stone as well. And then I will come over to this side, and I will do much the same over here. I'm going to take the coal. I'm going to drop in all the coal that I can onto that one, that one, and that one. And then that's all the rest of the coal. I haven't got any out on this one over here, but that will be fine. You're just quickly shunting a few. So I'll take the crushed stereotype there. Uh, sorry, the crushed stone. And we'll have the iron plates in here. And I've got another 11 basic data cores right there that I'm going to make. Data analyze. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. The, we, we've got all the bits that need to be made are currently just being made with us. But this used for key technology research. Now, I have no clue what key technology research actually refers to. It would be really nice to find out. That is saying there, it's still key technology research inputs, both of the basic ones. And I've got other options for it as well. Now these here, we've got basic lab, we've got basic two and basic three. 
Processing Tech. Production Data Core 2. Data Core 1s. Like the, the, the Data Core and stuff here that we've got now is... Uh, quite remarkable. We've got Data Analyzers. And then we've got all the Science Packs in here. Uh, the Yellow Science Analyzers and... Yeah, there's this, uh, the, 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 lots of stuff. Just, just Let's just put it down as lots of stuff and we'll leave it at that. We can drop those 22 in there now. That's going to speed that up. We'll speed that along quite nicely. It's it's two for one. So we've got our two for running in here, which means that this research will actually get done pretty quickly. But it's whether I've got to like add something in here in order to like confirm it or something like that. I, I have no clue what that bit is actually going to finish up doing. Whether there's going to be like some final wonderful thing that has got to happen because of it or not. I I, I really have no idea. Uh, there's, there's something that is, is going to come in the future. It's not going to turn up just yet. Now, all of that stone, I'm going to start making. So you're not, I'm, I'm just going to make all of that stone right now. I'll let that run. That can just keep ticking through there. We've just got three more of these to go. Remaining basic automation. It's, it's not telling me the overall, well, it is it's telling me up there. Uh, I got one more of them. Basic automation will then be complete. Okay, that's finished. But this, no research in progress. Research speed. That's saying no research in progress as well. Anyway, I've now got the first one. We've got our basic one. So what's a, is, is there a key research in here? I'll have a look through. I don't see any. I, I, I have no idea what key research is supposed to mean. Whether it's this. Advanced energy technology there. This only takes the science analyzers here. Advanced energy technology. Advances those. So maybe it's something to do with that. All right, because those are only taking those sorts right there. Tech archive, yellow science. This could be classed as key research, whereas anything that takes the basic data cores... That's different. That's not key research. It's just research that you need. Mind-boggling quantities of research, admittedly. Uh, that might... That might be what it's all about. Who knows? Who knows? I've, I've got no idea. Okay, so next we've got mechanical components here. We've got motor casings, blocks, recipes. We've got the basic logistics, extras. We've got splitters, underground belts... Uh, basic military weapon body, weapon trigger, weapon parts, and a submachine gun. And we've got water treatment for purification. We've got the clarifier. We've got a hydro plant, which is a rather useful beastie that we can do all sorts of things and unlock all sorts of technology. I think we'll go with the basic logistics. We will go with that one next. I've still got to make a whole load of other bits if I want to actually be able to use it, so I'm not going to worry about it just at the moment. Um... What I do want to do is I want to go back in here. I've now got a burner assembling machine available to make. And we want to start automating production of science. That's, that's got to be our very first thing to do. So we want to be able to make basic data cores and we want to make grey science analyzers. We go to you over here. Basic data cores there. We need the iron plates and we need grey circuit boards. Iron plates we've already got. Grey circuit boards, we need copper cables and grey boards. Grey boards uh, require paper and timber. Timber is another slight problem. Bioprocessing over here. Craft timber. We need trees. We need a basic tree right there. And we need the greenhouse technology. We've got tree arboretums now the thing is there's two different types of tech you've got greenhouses and you've got tree arboretums and this gets six to eight pieces of timber in there and then you've got that one as a crystal tip saw blade that gets that basically just does it faster i think uh, no it, it makes the blade last longer that's what it is um, and the tree, this one here, 
Angels Bioprocessing. The Greenhouse Tech. Three trees, 60 second craft time. Yes, there's a lot of people that do consider these greenhouses here. The Bob's Green. This is the greenhouse is Bob's Greenhouse mod. Yeah. And then you've got the Tree Arboretum, which is the Angels mod. And there are people who consider this one to be a little bit cheaty because it is so much easier to have that greenhouse um, and use that than it is to go using all of these other bits for growing trees, right? It really is. It makes such a huge difference. It's so, so much easier to make them right there than it is to make anything else. So the tree over here, in order to make that, we need sand, desert tree seeds, and saline water. Relatively simple and straightforward. We can do that bit. Uh, unless it's now... Change. Have I changed something? Might not be letting us have the basic trees anymore. May have changed it. There, there, there may have been some changes. I may have already disabled one of the selections. I can't remember. But it is. It, it, it's really, really easy to generate loads and loads of timber really quickly using um, Bob's, like, basic stuff. Now, I have got 250 pieces of timber up here at the moment. So we will start making this one. I'm going to go back into the options. I can't do it from here. Because it's in the mod settings. Actually, I can do it from here. No, I can't. Suppress narrative pop-ups. Auto continue on startup in here. This is all the stuff. Hey, I'm not sure. I might have to look at something else. But I thought there was a setting to disable the easy version of getting timber. So it was a little bit more of a challenge. I thought there was something somewhere. I don't actually remember where it was, though. So we won't worry about it too much. I got 52 iron plates right there, and I'll go and grab a bit of copper from in here as well. And that should allow me to make a couple more burner assembling machines right there. Then we've got uh, Bob's Logistics over here. So I want some basic transport belts. I need one gear and one iron plate to make those. Angels, not angels blocks. Right, where's, where's the gears? Which one is, it's not production... Metallurgy casting us. Iron rods are made in there. Petrochem. No, no. Not in here. It's there as gear. And then we got mechanical parts right there as well. So that's, that's your gears. That's your iron grates and, and your other bits and so on in there. And one iron plate, one gear in order to make one basic transport belt. This is what I would like to do. I'd like to start off by making a few factories... I'm not going to do... I'm not going to go very far with them either. I, I just want to, like, make a few in here. Let's go back this way and grab some more coal, if we've got any in here. A little bit. I'll keep me going for a bit. I'll keep me out of mischief just for a minute. And we go and have a look in here. Right. I need to choose recipe. We want to go to... Ain't not Angel's Blocks. Bob's Logistics. No. Angel's Tech. Power. Which one am I... There. Angel's Components is the one that I want. I want gears. I need to I need to make... <laughs> In order to make gears, I need to make iron rods. I can't... I thought I, 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 thought I just smelted... <laughs> I want to make iron rods. And you can't just make iron rods. Iron rods aren't something that just make... Look, if we go into here and we do this... We've got metallurgy, casting, iron rod right here, craft. Oh, yes, we can. We can just make them. Okay, so we can go into here, and then you can have iron rod stacks, which you do in... And you turn those... Yeah, all right, just ignore that bit. So we need to make iron rods to be able to make the gears. Let's go and put you down in here. Let's, let's pop that one onto there. So you got to go right there. You're going to be making iron rods, so I want to go to metallurgy casting there, iron rod. Two iron plates to make you, and then to make gear wheel, I need one iron rod makes two gear wheels. So essentially, we turn two bits of iron plate into a rod, and then we turn the rod into two gear wheels, instead of just turning one iron plate into one gear wheel, right? 
extra complexity all the way through. Everything is all about extra complexities. Now, if I go to there, I've actually got inserters right here that I can make. So I'm going to make five basic inserters. And then I'm going to take power from here. And I put that to there. I'm going to put power to there like that. So that I can use a little bit of this. Because I don't like burner inserters. I don't mind using like the other burner stuff but i've never been a fan of burner inserters I, I i just don't like them so we're gonna want iron going in here which will go into that one which will go into that one so we can start that off nice and simple i'll put some iron plates in actually i'm not going to put iron plates in there just yet i want to finish building this so then you go over here and then i want to make that so i need to have iron plate coming into there and we need iron plate going into that one at that end as well. And then this one needs to come out of here at the very finish of all of this. And it should all be tickety-boo and wonderful. So I'm going to drop 200 into each of those in there like that. Half a second crafting time. But the total crafting time on this one is 0 0.25 crafting speed. It's a wee little tiny bit slower than normal crafting speed. Then I will go in here and I will put four of those in there. So that will make two rods, which will in turn make four of these. And that in turn I can put you into there and you take one of each. And that's going to be make me some basic transport belts. So that one will go there like that. And then I can in turn make... Well, we'll go to... We'll make a wooden chest considering that we've actually got plenty of timber and we don't have very much of the other. So we will drop some basic belts in there. Now I got a basic belt there. So I'm going to drop that one down there like that. And I've now got belts. Here's a good start. This this is this is looking more promising now. We can keep all of this running. And I what I'd like to do is I'd like to have that belt. I want to have that one come down. A belt to come along here so that we can put uh, iron going into both of those that's that's going to be my first thing that I would like to do and what I could actually do is I could put that one over there that's as close to this side as I can get and then I uh, ooh, just trying to decide what I should build we want to go angels power I'll make 10 of these this is a long-winded recipe for making electric poles it really is it's a very, very long-winded recipe for making electric poles. But that's, that's going to be fine. We, we can still make electric poles. So if I bring you out over there like that, and then... Oh, I don't have any upgrades for this yet. I can't even put that diagonally. Right, well, there's no point in putting that, and I'll just put you there like that, and then, and then you can carry on. So I want to take you. That one's going to go over there like that. That one's going to go there, and that one is going to go up there like that. So that I've got a little bit of power coming out onto here. I've got a couple of belts in here already that we can go and use. We could bring those down. I will take 60 iron plates right there, which we will be able to put to really good use on here. I'll put 30 of them in there, and I will drop the other 30 of them in there like that. So there's a few belts being made instantly. What is this? This is... Two belts per thing that is made anyway. So one iron... It, what we ultimately end up with, despite all those intermediate things, is we get one piece of belt per one square of... Uh, per one piece of iron plate. So it's actually quite a good um, ratio of belt to ingredients. Right? It, it's dirt cheap. It's horribly, horribly, painfully slow, these belts. They are disgustingly slow. But they work. That's the important thing. Is we've actually got now some belts that do work. We are able to use them. So there is our first little run. We can put that one down to there. I want to make a few more of these. I don't have the ingredient. What am I? Uh, um, iron. I need. I need more. I need more iron. Right. Well, I'm. I'm just going to have to pick up the iron that's here. There we go. Pick up a little bit like that, and I'll make another five of those. As soon as I got five of them, I will drop these down here. I'm going to need to put in another one of them. I'm going to put in two of these. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to have to put one over here as well. So that I can have everything on here. But we've got them all in line, and then I, I will have everything there that needs to be there. 
I don't need to do anything else. I could even... No, I can't remove you. You're not going to... This is not going to be far enough to go up between them. Uh, and you're in the wrong spot anyway. So put you down there. Right, that's working. And then... Uh, I want that one... Yeah, you mouse over it and press Q like that. And then it drops the stuff in. So what it's going to do is it's going to... Can't zoom in. Oh. You hear the noise? It's very, very faint. I do, I do have the noise down really low, because otherwise it, it, get, it gets too much. Um, but, yeah, when, when you've got, like, 200 of these, it, it amplifies the sound, and it brings it way up, and, and it gets a little bit too much. Uh, so this will just keep going until this one has got all that we want to put into there, and then that one has got all that we want to put into there. And we've now got some belts. We, we, we've got belts being automated, which means that we could automate a few other bits. And the main thing that I would want to automate is actually getting power into here. This, this, this doesn't matter, though. Look, I've hardly used any of it at all. All of that may even seem like a bit of a waste. It's this one here that we want to keep running now. Keep all of that going so that I've got plenty of belts coming in. I've, I've, literally, I've, I've only got four of them in there at the minute. And this is how painfully slow this is. So next, we want to start ramping up some of these other bits. I need production of this to increase. I would like to treble and way beyond all of those, which means that I want to increase what's coming off of there. Now, at the moment, the only mine... We do have electric mining drills. Right, electric mining drills are available. We could start getting some of those. So we could leave our four, oh, uh, eight over here just uh, getting some coal, which will eventually be able to be used for doing that. Um, and pick up all of that. I've got a thousand coal on me now, which is enough to keep us going and keep us out of mischief for a while. So really, I want to get the copper plate off of there. And then I want to ramp up production on here. Now, you right there are going really, really slow. All right, this one here, the, the rate that this one's producing stuff is also kind of painfully slow as well. So what I'm kind of thinking is we could change that over to an electric drill rather than having the burner mining drill. And that's going, I think one electric drill does do at the same speed. This is crafting speed one and the crafting speed is, does it say? One second crafting time. And then in here, you've got that one, which is two seconds crafting time. So two electric mining drills will actually run one of these. So if I was to put two mining drills into here, electric ones, that would keep that one running and that would keep it going flat out. But I'm not sure that this lot would keep up with it. Probably would, to be honest. I've not actually tested that in any way, shape or form. So let's have a look. I need 38 pieces of iron. I've got none at the moment. There's nothing else that I want to do just yet. So I will remove that one. And I will just let things start to accumulate. This, this is all I can do for a second. Is, is just let things start to accumulate. I could go and build another item over here somewhere. I could go and take some of these out and use these instead. You know, that would probably be better because I've now got plenty of coal. So if I turn you round, and then I'll lift these out just for a minute. There. And I could bring those back over this way. We're going to need coal going into those. Although we'll probably we, we'll want to try and do the upgrades as quickly as we can. Burner mining. Of course, it breaks them down into individual components, doesn't it? Construction frames, mechanical parts, that sort of thing. I've now got enough items that I can build up the next lot. I'm liking this. I'm actually really liking this. Like, lifting those up, I've now got enough materials that I could go and make the electric mining drill rather than just having to stick with the basic one. Okay. This is good. Let's, let's put down a power supply over to there. And I've then... I'm, I'm just waiting on a couple of electronics blocks right here. Electronics block zero. And then I've got one mining drill right there that we want to make. So you, I'm going to pop a picture in there like that. Look at that. This one's got five and a half thousand out on this side. I'll drop you in there. Plus we've got that little bit there. That's, that's going to speed it up a bit. Look at this. That's much better. 
Now we've got a little bit more efficiency coming off of this one. This one's running flat. We've got that one there running flat out continuously. And you in here, are we going to end up having too much crushed sapphire? Am I going to want another furnace coming off of this in order to be able to keep this all going? I suspect I might. If that's the case, that makes me a very happy chap. I'm, I am more than happy to do that. We can keep running a bit of this. And then we get some belts going and we can start ramping up production. And then we need to kind of turn our attention to making more belts. Keeping all of that going. This, this, is, this is definitely going well now. Look at this. I, I got ten of those in there. That one's starting to creep. You know, we'll, we'll get another one of these. We'll, we'll get a second one. I'll put you... I want to put you close enough that I can empty into there. I guess if I put it down here. Like that. That'd be the best way to do it. I think it might. I put you there, and then this one can go in there like that, and then this one. Because yeah, you, I, I need to do some upgrades on that. I also need to get some coal in there. Drop you into there and fire those, fill those up there like that. Uh. What am I going to do here? I'm, I'm just wondering how the what the best method is for moving that stuff into this one. Or whether I should even do that. No, I know what I'm going to do. That can come out of there. I've got, I've got enough bits in here. I will take an iron chest like that. And then I will put this iron chest down in a minute. I'm not going to put it down yet. Uh, that one can go down there. You will go here like this. I'll drop you there like that. And then that one is going to go there. You are going to be picking up from up there like that. So that will go from the chest and into here. This one here is going to take 200 coal like that. And then you are going to go into a chest there. And then I will take that and put that one over there. And that's now going to work. So I've now got two of these. i got one that's going on to this belt over here so that I can get some more belts that will be working at some point soon. And then i got one that's going into this chest. That's how we will keep that moving. So I can go and put that belt back down there. And I'll steal all of that iron first because I actually want to use it. Take that as well. That means I can get another one of these. So I will pick up the burner mining drill. I pick up, I get the, but I don't pick up the burner mining drill. I put that one down and I get the individual components come back. And this is really awesome. I love this. I absolutely love this. I'd not see, this is a new thing to me. I've not seen this before. We will put two burner mining drills, uh, two electric mining drills in here. Two electric mining drills will keep that one running. And it could be, the sp I tell you what, the speed that is coming out of there... We could actually get more than just these. We might end up changing this round a little. Excuse me. We might end up changing this round a little bit. And have a couple of extra furnaces or something like that. Just, just to keep working on this bit. But however, however we decide to do it. I'm already really, really liking this improvement. So I'm just going to hang around so that I can get a second one of them going straight. Feeding direct into the burner ore crusher. And as soon as we've got that one in place... We can go and start doing something similar over here, I'd have thought. We can extend the power up through. Uh, hmm. I suppose we don't want to get too carried away. Right. You're going into there. What I'm thinking is... now. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.